Okay, today I'm going to demonstrate how to use Visual Lightbox and put a bunch of uh, images pretty easily with nice effects on your Excite Pro page. So first, you know, we have a, a nice template here and good web pages. We have a blank page. I'm just going to fill it full of images. So what I'll do is fire up a Visual Lightbox and uh, I'm not going to really go into how to use this too much, but uh, click the plus button to add images. I'll click a bunch of images here. And there's different settings under the tools here of what you can use. A lot of different things you can go into here, but uh, the main thing is that I want to show you is the look. You have several templates here that you can use for thumbnails. Previews are down below there. So a lot of different thumbnails. Let's stick with that one. Vista, no titles. And your thumbnail size is right here. You can change it to whatever you want. And that's all you need to do for that. Now the template this is what it's going to look like when after you click on it and it blows up to the full size. This is what we're going to have here. So let's go to Cloud. Again, it has several settings here that we can um, choose. I'm going to leave it as, as it is there. And next is just click Publish. I'm going to send it to my desktop and make a new folder called New Folder. So just click Publish. So here is just a an index page in our uh, new folder that it shows you the um, how everything turned out. So what we want to do from this page is right click and view the page source. We can see that there's two sections that we need to copy. One is the head section and one is the body section. We both start off with this green uh, text right here, a little note that tells you here's the head section and here's the body section. And here's the ending of the body and here's the ending of the head. So we'll copy the head, go back into Excite Pro, and on our page that we want to have the images on, go to the page setting tab, advanced settings, and the scripts and the custom head scripts and then the edit button. We'll paste our code in there. And then on our page here, we'll go to the source tab and copy the body section. So this is what it looks like right now. And that's all we need to do in Excite Pro. So I'm going to go ahead and publish. And then we open the website. And we see that it looks like this. And none of our images are showing up. And that's because in our new folder that uh, Visual Lightbox made for us. There's a data folder and an engine folder that we need to bring that we need to use the FTP to, to bring those into our uh, home directory or whichever directory you have it in. But usually it'd be the public HTML directory. So I will use Smart FTP. So in Excite Pro I've just I uploaded to a test uh, directory called Visual Lightbox just to uh, demonstrate this. So you can see all my Excite Pro pages and two pages are in here and sitemaps in there. That's about it. So what I'll do now is grab the data folder and drag it into there and my engine folder and drag it into there. Now they're done. Now we should be able to go back to our website, 
hit refresh and there's all of our images If you want to add more images on another page, the easiest way I've found to do it, because you have to bring the data in the engine folder onto your server for each uh, set of images. So since they are they're always labeled data and engine, you can rename them, and then you have to rename files on the CSS files and other places. You have to do a lot of renaming. Or the easier way that I thought I would show you is just go to the other tab and silo, turn on siloing, directory siloing, and I want to have uh, page 2 be a silo. That way it won't share the same folders as page 1. And the info bar. So now that I'm, I have silo, siloing set up, When I publish, and I look here, if I hit refresh, hopefully it'll show it. Page 2 is now a folder instead of a page. So inside of page 2 is an index HTML page and uh, the scripts and the images that come from Excite Pro. So now that we have page 2 set up as its own folder, we can go back to page 2, open up Visual Lightbox again, get rid of these images, add some more, Let's leave all the settings the same. I'm going to publish. I'll create a new folder, new folder one, and click publish. So again, here we have the page created with a Visual Light Box. So we will again right click, view page source. Here's the head code that we need to copy. Then in Excite Pro on page 2, page settings, advanced settings, scripts, I guess I already had it in there. Let's make sure it's the right code. Okay. Then in the source tab, for page 2. We'll copy the body code. Paste it in here. So there's our body code. We can go ahead and publish. Now when we preview, here's page one, here's page two. Okay, so page two here needs a, a little bit of help. We need to bring the two folders that Visual Lightbox created and bring them into uh, our page two directory here. So I'll open up new folder one and drag both of these up into here. And once they're done, we should be able to go back to our live website, hit refresh, and there are our images. Page one, page two. And that's it.